Hello there, my name's Vinny Voodoo, and I've been doing high-resolution texture packs on Call of Duty Warzone for several months now. Now, my original plan for this video was going to be a direct comparison before and after the texture pack, uh, and I was going to do every single operator that I had, and I've got most of them, and every single um, outfit that they have. We're talking about 230 um, comparisons, by the way. Uh, it's remarkable. Uh, and before I go ahead and do that, I just want to show you this quick clip as I was practicing and just editing and stuff like that. This clip here uh, of Naga here, can you tell me which is the before and which is the after? Now, I know one's smaller than the other, and I'll explain why I did that in a moment. Uh, you can't. You can't tell. One, because it's YouTube compressed. And two, there isn't that much difference. Not visually. And in fact, it gets worse than that, and I'll get to that in a moment. What I'm actually talking about here is the fact that I truly believe that in-game, as in gameplay, as you're playing the game, the texture pack has no bearing on the game. Uh, what I mean by that is, is uh, you know, the guy you killed in front of you, if you look really close at him and his body will disappear if you try and get too close, is just the normal pre high resolution texture pack install so the only ever time you ever see the quality is when you're looking at the operator in the operator select screen or if you're looking at the operator in the store and you're looking at buying them i've done a video about the ethics of that and that's fine so if this is true then the texture pack has no bearing in game because if it only affects operators and guns and the operators don't have any you know benefit because they don't um, then what, what is this affecting other than this screen here and the store screen? But I will show you this. I reinstalled the texture packs. I genuinely went through, as, as I'll show this clip here, of me uninstalling, which on the PS4 is very easy. Um, and I intend to do a comparison, but I just want to talk about the uh, what it actually helps. Because showing his pants here doesn't necessarily mean it has any effect in game. But if you look on his left leg, there's a kind of lobster claw on the pocket. And I'll cut now to how it looks before you get the texture pack. And you can clearly see there's pixels there and stuff like that. And we'll cut back to this. And there isn't. It's much cleaner. In fact, I noticed everything about this looked cleaner. The background looked cleaner. The, the, the way that the lighting worked looked cleaner. They've really, really made this look really good, especially since I'm seeing it in 60 frames a second at 4K, and this video will be 30 frames a second at 1080p. It definitely, as soon as I saw it, I thought, yes, this looks much, much better. But does it have an effect in game? I thought it did at first. I honestly thought, well, if it's going to have to be pulling these textures off the internet, off the servers of Activision, then yes, if they're on your hard drive, it's going to be faster. And I still believe that. But I'm not sure how much of that is the case. And the other problem is, is the texture packs themselves, and I'll do a Q&A on this, will have various textures from different pieces that they all share. So if they've got a um, bit of... Um, I'll try and find a guy with a... a um, not him. A, a canvas on them. Hang on, let me back in there, wherever she is. Let's say the canvas bag that she's got there. If there's another character with a similar, and obviously they can change the hue of the color, um, the uh, canvas is going to be shared across. And you end up in a situation where some of the textures are clearly high res, and some of them are still low res because we, you know, they, they did three texture packs. There's definitely going to be a fourth. Rumor is there's a fourth out already. So some of these look really good. Now, this is with the entire texture pack in and you're going to see bits that stand out like her radio. It doesn't look great, but her knife looks incredible. So it's kind of like there's no right texture pack to download. Three doesn't include one and two. And I don't think it matters. I'm not 100% on this. I've done a lot of tests. I, I, my, my original thoughts, when you go to the loadout and you look at your perks, you'll see the bags that are on the table. And the fact that this is taking time, to me, means... And you can see them coming in there, and they're still not brilliant. 
it's still a little squidgy and, and we'll see it kind of like correct which means that these textures are part of the texture pack so if I go to the next one and the next one here's how you can tell if you change it you can sort of see it zoom in if you do that and it's slow it's pulling off the internet that's fast enough for me to believe that that's actually the pipe of my PS4 coming from the RAM and GPU and hard drive through to the visualization of it because it's instantly fast and it's the same speed but it's still not good is it it's going through what three different layers of textures to get it to correct itself and they all do it and you can test this out yourself and if this is slow if this takes time it's pulling the textures off the internet so either the these are you know i don't have a fan i use my phone as my internet so i don't have a fast internet 30 mega tops um but that's consistently the same speed and i started thinking well maybe then your your internet speed is more important than downloading the textures however with all that said i did go and install them again it is 50 gig in total 43 gig or something like that and, and um everything's back to the way it was they the the characters the operators look better all of them look somewhat better with the texture pack installed it's bits of them though so if i was to do a before and after as i showed earlier i'd have to stop each one and say you see his outfit looks better because he's wearing a, a live strong band and you can read it but the rest of him looks blurry uh, it's not like each character looks great or individual characters you say, oh, it, Stitch looks better. No, his pants look better. The rest of him looks exactly the same. So the question is, should you download the texture pack? I'm now 50-50. I used to say, yeah, go ahead, there's no harm. And really there isn't, other than the time it takes to do it. I've, I installed it and reinstalled it in a night. Um, it, it, it works, by the way, uh, under general game installs. You can see here, they're all installed and it's literally a click away. So uh, on the Xbox, I know you have to jump through a couple more hoops to uninstall it, but um, the, the, trying it out has no harm. I have not noticed a degradation in performance or an improvement of performance by uninstalling it. So my conclusion at this point, and I apologize that this isn't my mega video, that's going to be all of the operators together. I do intend to do that, but I'm not sure whether I should talk over it. That's 230 clips. That's a lot of my voice. Or if I should just uh, like play it and who's going to watch that? Um, leave your uh, thoughts in the comments if you don't mind, because uh, it's a lot of work for me. And I think people will just go to their favorite operator and see if there's a before and after difference. And you really can't tell on YouTube. You can sort of tell in person. So my advice at this point, download it. And if it fucks everything up, uninstall it. All right, that's enough waffling for me. My name's Vinny Voodoo, and I will talk with you soon.